I love this game. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way Manchester United 2, Brighton 1. This is a game, to be to be honest, I have made, like, this is a game in which gave me a lot of emotions, vibes of, you know, the old Manchester United. Two goals in less than five minutes by Scott McTominay. Smash a like on the video if Tom, Tom McTominay was your man of the match. Because before, that, before McTominay's first goal, I was easily give this man of the match to someone like, you know, um, um, the, uh, Evans, Johnny Evans, or maybe even Amrabat. But you know what? The team was so average. It was what we were at a mental block. But guys, before we continue, I would like to dedicate just let me say some couple of seconds to our uh, hero. I mean, a guy who most of you uh, became fan of Manchester United because of him, and that's uh, Alex Ferguson, who has lost the wife two days ago. I mean, I I could still remember when say Alex Ferguson left. You know, when his last match like, as a manager of Manchester United, he mentioned that the wife has told him that he needs. She needs time uh, with them, uh, with him, you know, with her, sorry. Uh, and, uh, you know, both of them were together for like 57 years, as far as I, I know. And, uh, yeah, so uh, let her so rest in peace. Ferguson means a lot to most of you. He built that cult culture for Manchester United. And some people even talk about that Manchester United is a good financial team and forget that somebody was there behind who well, who was the magic behind, was doing the magic behind that, say, Alex Ferguson. I personally think he's the guy that built up that brand, you know, chewing the chewing gum and, you know, building teams every year, the Cantonas, the Beckhams, the Scholes. So, uh, yeah, so uh, in uh, behalf of our community, the United Way TV, and I mean, we wish, uh, we just uh, uh, give our condolence to Sir Alex Ferguson and may her, her, her his wife, her soul rest in perfect peace. So let's come back to the game today. The show must go on. I think Alex Ferguson will say something similar. Yeah, the show today, guys. Uh, Scott McTominay has, uh, let's put it away. Scott McTominay 2, Manchester United 1. As simple as that. And we know it's a collective game. But, you know, Manchester United are in a position now that uh, we have a mental, we're in a mental, we have a mental block. And when you, your team has a mental block, it is sometimes it's, it's so difficult even to, I mean, you can see kind of goals which you, you, you don't even expect it. So it all started, yeah, it all started with uh, this, uh, with a goal by um, uh, uh, Brighton, uh, uh, but a goal which, I mean, on an ordinary day, you, we don't need to concede such a goal. And you could even see when we missed the ball, yeah, the, the, the players, you see Amrabat, yeah, everybody was confused. I think uh, the, the manager did the right thing, the right thing to sub uh, Casemiro, not because Casemiro is not a good player or not in, in his plans, but the issue here is that Ten Hag has to show leadership. I did a video here, Ten Hag has to show leadership. There are certain times in the pitch where some players understand uh, that they are, they, are not, they are not rude. It's just that the complacency comes into play. And I think Casemiro this season, to be honest, hasn't been very good. Guys, please make sure you click the like on the video. Guys, subscribe and share these videos to all United fan, football fans. Let's hit that 10K. We just need 10,000 subscribers. You guys can give us uh, the subscribers today. So, uh, guys, this is a fantastic day today. It's a, This game will go into memory. We have had a lot. It's not like we won something. It's not a night of champions. It's not like we are beating Chelsea. It's not like we, are beat, we, have, we, are, we have just trashed uh, City. But it's because of the situation in which we are as a club, Manchester United, as a team, uh, not the club, because the club is owned by Americans who don't care about it even. As a team... Uh, and fans, I was so nervous. I mean, watching this game, very nervous. Thank God there wasn't a watch along. I would have just destroyed my screen. But um, I, 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 I need to give also congrats to the United team. I know it is easy to blame. That's the easiest thing. I'll tell you guys the first rule of life. There are many people around you who are waiting to see you, you fall in life. And when they fall, when you fall, they will be the first to call you and ask and try to why not not to console you but to take advantage of your misfortune so that's a life lesson if you're watching this i don't know where you're watching that's a life lesson united has always been a successful team and now that we are doing well uh, as a club there are a lot of people who make uh, not only get clicks and views or get famous but who are just so happy to see us struggle as a team never forget this i know you guys watch a lot of tvs you think these guys are honest most of the guys on the tvs are very biased against manchester united because of our success some of you are very young you didn't enjoy the success of manchester united but i want to say this clear manchester united today came into the game which most of us thought we had to i mean i, I said it was going to be two 
2-0, uh, 3-1, something of that sort. I thought we we're going to dominate. But, you know, when you are in a situation where we are, Manchester United, and you can see the goal, which I would say the goalkeeper would have had that ball. The Onana, there's a lot of things going on with Manchester United, which uh, we, have to, so we have to take into consideration. We have a new goalkeeper. We have a lot of injuries. Our manager is forced to play players out of position. Amrabah is play, comes and plays like a three at times. Bruno plays as outside right. We have talked out as outside right, like a right in the midfield. Bruno has to play in the center midfield. The only, I mean, this is one of the issues when people talk about um, people talk about uh, Manchester United not playing well. They forget about why we are not playing well. Because um, honestly, one of the reasons why we're not playing well is that this guy, Eric Ten Hag, doesn't have a choice. He needs to make the, get the best of the team. I told you guys on my match reaction that the, uh, uh, that em uh, Amrabat has to play in the midfield. He needs that energy in the midfield. Bruno has to come into the midfield also and play as a 10. Uh, what does uh, a player like Mount brings to Manchester United? I don't know. He brings energy, but he's not that creative. He brings speed. He's very quick, but he is not creative. We need creativity. We need to see how we can create chances out of nothing. So that is the issue that we have with Manchester United. And um, guys, I just want to say that if we play like this with a more competent team, we are going to lose the game. We are not going to score. At most, we can have a draw. So United, I hope that this game brings or gives us back the confidence in which we need. And guys, I mean, you know, football is a it's an old game. They're, they're just it's it's, it's a it's a funny old game, as it is always said, because, you know, from nothing, you can get a result. This reminds me of the game with, where, uh, where you, you remember Ole Gunnar Solskjaer was manager when we played against Paris. Uh, that was one of the first games that Greenwood came into the Manchester United as a teenager, 17 years, 16 years old back then, I think, yeah. But uh, when we had we had that cameo in, in, in against uh, PSG, remember in the Champions League, they went on and, and, and lose the next game. So these things happen in football. See Alex Ferguson, this is all... 1999 back again and Scott McTominay no matter what you think about Scott McTominay he is the man of the match today he has helped Ten Hag from the sack simple I would say Scott McTominay that's who that has to be the top the, the, the topic of today Scott McTominay has helped Ten Hag of the stack of the sack so let's go straight with the player ratings and uh doing the player ratings I think uh we should uh uh, take Scotty this way and talk about the player. So our player, our lineup here, as you can see, our lineup. So we start with a goalkeeper. I think what what will you give the play the goalkeeper over ten? I think today Onana, he really didn't have much to do. He did some 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 some, some uh, you know acrobatics where he was giving uh, what he was played. Um, had given uh, he had how, how many shots were on pole? I think on statistics we had that they had, they had like maybe seven at most, but some of them were not really direct shots. So uh, the goal which uh, uh, con which Onana considered, you can really see it's a goal. It, it, it reminds me of the goal he con he considered when he against Bayern Munich. And something you get to know is that they are, he is low in confidence. There are many of these players are low in confidence. Is Onana the person for the future for Manchester United? Is he the goalkeeper for the future? I am a bit skeptical. I am not really sure. We have had Bates, who was a world goalkeeper, came to Manchester United and couldn't play. Couldn't play well. Fabian Bates, World Cup winner, came to Manchester United. He couldn't even I mean he was ridiculed at Manchester United. So I, I think that's one of the positions which United we need to really think going forward. I give um, Onana a, a five. You know, he was just a one action. He scored a goal. He scored a five. Johnny Evans. I give Johnny Evans. Johnny Evans a seven. For his age, 35 years old, the sprints he did, he did, I didn't see the defense didn't really do that much. Johnny Evans is quicker than Maguire, but he's 35 years old, seven. Maguire had an average match for me, a six. I don't know how much you give Maguire. At the left, you had uh, Lindelof. I give Lindelof a 6.5. This was a guy playing with pain. Lindelof has problem with his back, but he played that game because he needed, we needed him. He tried, he didn't finish the game, but he played. You see what I mean? I give him a 6.5 in that game. The reason why, the, 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 if if we lost that game, the, the, the scores would have been, the, the, the ratings would have been different, if you see what I mean. So, uh, uh, now, talking about it, right, Delo also was very attack. He was a, a guy who was playing his proper position as a two. He, he was, I mean, he was the only one that was cu cutting crosses. Delo, I give Delo a 6.5. I wouldn't blame them. It's not like we were dominated by a team, but no, we considered the goal, yes, but... I would say in terms of performance and ball possession, because the opponent respected us a lot, we had the ball a lot. So uh, Delo, 6.5 for me. Amrabat, Amrabat, 7 for me. Not that he was perfect. I give Amrabat a 7. 
I think uh, his energy, I think he will do well for Manchester United. He has that energy. When he gets to know the players better, he'll do well. Uh, Mason Mount, I mean, 5.5. I didn't see what Mason Mount does. Mason Mount, uh, um, some of you ask, and they wrap the why is Mason Mount, uh, why is Ten Hag putting Mason Mount in the pitch? When you buy, uh, when Mason Mount isn't playing well, why is he playing the goalkeeper? Why is he playing Mason Mount? When uh, when the club gives you, when you're a coach, for those of you in football, who are new in football, when the club gives, when a coach gives, a club gives you a, a buy for 50 million, 40 million, you buy, they bring you a player and you don't use the player. The club start losing confidence in you when you want a player. So you need to do everything so your player, it works, right? Things work for a player. So Mount for me, 5.5. I, mean, I wouldn't do all into over, over a lot. Bruno, the same 5.5. I can give Bruno a 6. He get a shot because he was more... Uh, into the game game than Mount in my view especially when he came in the midfield it was a different Bruno we saw when he came into the midfield so uh, another player which I would say is um, um, Rasmus Holland 6.5 what should he do Rasmus Holland he was the only nine real proper nine doing the high pressing you could see the energy he had and I mean 6.5 for us for 20 years old player who hasn't played in the Premier League who is honestly playing with his mind in Manchester United I mean, I don't know. Uh, you, you guys should tell me what you think about uh, this. So, um, yeah, um, I'm just looking at the table now. Wow. We are still at the first. If we lost this game, we would have been a second part of the table. Full stop. So, um, uh, the next uh, player is uh, Rashford. Rashford. Rashford, honestly, is a four. If I was the manager of Manchester United, I would give Rashford a break, like Sancho, break for two games and let Ganacho play because that would help Rashford build up his the hunger for him to play. I think Rashford was out of pace. So, I mean, Rashford's head is not in the game. Tell me what you think below. Maybe I am wrong. What is your view? Who was your man of the match? I want to know. Players coming in, I think um, the, um, the play... Uh, Anthony Marshall also, I think 6.5, he came in and put that pressure uh, in the game. Uh, you had um, a player also like Ganacho came in also. As I give Ganacho a 7. I'll tell you why. That energy, that willing, that drive, that hunger of playing for Ganacho deserves a 7. Because all those factors bringing together the Ganacho, the Anthony when he came into the game, Anthony also, I give him a seven. The reason why I'm giving these guys is because they are the one who brought that pressure. We could not break a, lo a low block, if you see what I mean. So they are, the, I think, uh, Anthony and, um, and they, 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 I mean, both of them are seven. And the man of the match for me is McTominay. I give McTominay a nine, nine over ten for McTominay. And he played a very short time. McTominay played, I think, over less than 20 minutes, if I'm not making a mistake. And McTominay scored two goals. The reason why I'm giving McTominay a 9, I have hardly given people even a 9 in this, is because he has saved Eric Ten Hag's job. And Eric Ten Hag, in, gen in general, because of the changes, we are very good at criticizing managers, but when they bring in players who change play games like McTominay has done today, we need to appreciate that. Eric Ten Hag, give him a 7 over 10. Don't forget, we are not. Too, it's not like we played vintage football. Manchester United, we have a mental block. It happens to everybody. It's just like you have a relationship or whatever with a girl and, you know, the girl doesn't like you, doesn't want you. And she cannot explain. You cannot know you're doing everything properly. And, you know, that these things happen with human. It's a human situation. But I know most of you might be surprised why am I saying this. But that, that, that football footballers are humans like us. They have this reaction. Why are they putting this effort and it's not working? Uh, and, um, yeah, I think the, the, vic the, 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 the victory today will give us that confidence that we deserve hopefully tell me now what you think guys what do you think about this game your mark with your reaction who was your man of the match because i give mark tomini nine over ten and i think uh this is one of those games hopefully this is the game that brings that kicks off our season because we really need these points anyway guys make sure you click the like on the video subscribe to the channel share with all viewers united viewers let's hit that 10k because of you we can do it so please for those of you who watch these videos every time please share this video with all the, um, the, uh, our fans and yeah Mark Tomini is my man of the match talk to you soon bye bye